We'll guide you through how to download and install OBS on your Mac. First of all, you'll need to go and open up a web browser. I'll just go and use Safari. And what you want to do is go and search for OBS Studio, just like so. Make sure you go to the official website, which is obsproject.com. Now we're here. And what you need to do is go and click on Mac OS, as that is what we're running. Now we need to go and choose the Mac OS version. Intel is essentially for older Macs, which used to use Intel chips. Newer ones now go and use Apple chips, known as Apple Silicon. You can check this by clicking on your Apple icon in the top left and clicking on about this Mac. I use Apple Silicon as I've got an M chip, so I can go and click there. After it's downloaded, you can find it in your downloads in the top right of Safari or open up your finder and go to your downloads. You can then select it and double click on it and it's going to go and open up like so. And what you need to do is go and drag OBS into applications like that. Now we need to go and find OBS. So what you can do is go and open up your finder and go to applications or open up the launch pad and go and find it as well. So I'm going to go and click on OBS and it's now going to go and launch. The first time you do this, there's going to be sort of numerous pop-ups as Mac is quite high on security and things like that. And so what we now need to do is we need to go through these different app permissions. Now I've actually had OBS before, but if you haven't, you need to go through and give it these different app permissions for screen recording, camera, microphone. It's pretty simple and it's gonna guide you through. As you can see, I've got the access grants here already though. Um, and you can also go and open up access accessibility settings as well. Um, so this is a quick example for you. All you need to do is switch it on. You need to go and verify it. We can then go and click on continue like so. And now OBS is gonna open up. Once again, something has been blocked. So you can click on open system settings and click on allow. Now we can return to OBS and it's actually gonna help you auto configure it, which is useful. So you can choose if you're streaming or recording. I'll be optimizing for recording. So I'll go and click on next. You can then go and choose the base canvas. I'll just go and use my display. And then you can choose the FPS. That's like how smooth it is. I like to be on 60. Um, and then we can go and use these settings, but we can actually go and change these settings later on. I'll quickly go through the settings now, so you can go and open them up like this. Now, what you want to do is go over to the left. For stream, you can go and choose the service. Then we've got output. You can choose simple and advanced. I tend to use simple. So the video bitrate, that's gonna depend on your internet speed. So you can go and test the internet and set that up. There's sort of specific videos for that, to be honest, for setting up streaming, because it does vary. For recording though, you can go and choose where it's gonna be recorded, and you can then go and choose the quality. I like to use high quality. Um, and the format, MOV, Move is super useful as it works well on Mac and it's pretty compatible, so I'll keep it as that. For the encoder, I like to go and use Apple's, so you can use H.264 or HEVC. And on the left, you can come to audio. You can choose your mic, which of course will capture your voice, and then we can come into video. So here you can go and choose the resolution. So essentially the output scale resolution is what the video will actually be saved as. I like to go and have it as the same. That is a really high quality, so you can go and lower it down. Um, and then you can go and choose the frame rate. I like to keep it nice and smooth, so 60 is for me. And then you can press OK in the bottom right, and that's it. And then what you can do is go and create a scene. I already have one here. And then we can come into sources, which is essentially actual like video input. Click on the add Mac OS screen capture like so. Press OK, and there it is. You can go and choose your display there. Press OK, and we've now added our screen.